It is a lot of money, a million bucks, and is how much the state says was misspent by a local nonprofit. Tonight, its former Memphis director is now facing federal fraud charges. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. Katina is off tonight. 66-year-old Diana Threadgill was arrested this morning and appeared in court this afternoon. Threadgill ran the Mississippi River Corridor, Tennessee. Its mission was to promote tourism along the river. Local I Team Senior Investigator Jenny DePrezio first told us about problems last fall, and she's here now with this new information. Jenny? Yeah, you know, the last time I talked to Threadgill's husband, he told me she was being made a scapegoat, and today, he didn't say a thing. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hi. Hi. Whoa, whoa, excuse me. That's what happened when I went to Diana Threadgill's Midtown Memphis home. Her husband sped away from us. Diana Threadgill made her first appearance in court today, charged with three counts of mail fraud. She faces up to 20 years in prison if convicted. The Tennessee Comptroller and the U.S. Attorney say Threadgill took money that didn't belong to her while running a nonprofit group meant to promote tourism in West Tennessee. According to the state audit, investigators found more than a million dollars misspent. From failing to follow bid requirements to falsifying documents to getting improperly reimbursed for personal expenses for things like meals, entertainment, even baby shower supplies. Last October, the local I team told you about the nonprofit's mishandling of the construction of the new Real Foot Lake Visitor Center. The state decided it hadn't been bid out or built properly and ordered it torn down. When it came to that project, the state comptroller says Threadgill instructed staff to falsify accounting records. Investigators also questioned how money was spent on a river center in Dyersburg, which was never completed. The indictment claims over a five-year period, Threadgill essentially double-dipped, submitting reimbursement requests for expenses previously reimbursed. The nonprofit agency dissolved in March 2017, but investigators say she continued to make unauthorized purchases on the company's credit card. Now, the last time I talked to Threadgill's husband, he told me his wife did nothing criminal. At one point, he was actually on the nonprofit's board of directors. Two of their children also worked for the nonprofit. For the Local Eye Team, I'm Jenny DePrezio.